Hey Creekside and friends, my name is Phil. I'm excited to join you for another opportunity to look up. You know, I've been realizing lately just how life is challenging. Life is difficult, isn't it? Maybe you've seen the same. It's a pandemic, it's challenges, it's job losses and not enough income. It's, it's the loss of someone we love. I've walked with many families recently who have struggled, you know, or family members in the hospital and sickness and so many challenges. Life is difficult. And so I was reminded of this recently. My wife and I are reading pieces of a, of a classic book called The Road Less Traveled uh, by Scott Peck. And, and he has these words for us. I want you to hear these words and just resonate with the truth here. He says this, life is difficult. This is a great truth, one of the greatest truths. It's a great truth because once we truly see this truth, we transcend it. Once we see that life is difficult, we transcend it. Once we truly know that life is difficult, once we truly understand and accept it, then life is no longer difficult. Because once it's accepted, the fact that life is difficult no longer matters. Life is difficult. And I think we bump into this sometimes and we, we feel like we're getting a raw deal a lot of times because we expect something different. We expect that everything should be easy and we, we craft our lives in such a way that life should be easier, more comfortable. You know, have some money in the bank so we don't have to worry have a comfier couch or a nicer car or a faster drive through line or whatever it is. We want our lives to work around us and our needs and our desires, our wants, our comforts. But the reality is that life is always going to be difficult on this side of eternity. See, we long for that because we were created for that by God in perfection. But because we rebelled against him, creation has fallen and difficulty entered into the picture. You know, this... This reality of suffering, Jesus even spoke to it in John 16, 33. He said, in this world, in this life, you will have suffering. You will struggle. In this life, it's going to come. Not if maybe there are some challenges along the way, but they're going to come. And when they come, how you respond ultimately matters. So I run back to the words of Paul. If you got a Bible with you, flip it open to Romans chapter 5, verse 3. Romans chapter 5, verse 3. And here's the encouragement for today. Paul says, We boast in the hope of the glory of God. And then verse 3 says, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings. We glory in our sufferings. He, he recognizes that suffering is just a part of life. Buddha, once upon a time, said that the first of the noble truths with that life is suffering. But the difference between Buddha and and Jesus is that Buddha wants us to escape it and to, to run from it, to just let go of all desire. And Jesus says, no, you got to have the right desires. And when you push through suffering, because you should expect it in this life, when you push through, there's something good on the other side. So Paul comes behind Jesus and he, he echoes this. He says, glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance produces character and character hope and hope does not disappoint us or put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit whom he has given to us. You see, if we realize that life is difficult and that challenges are going to come, that, that hardships are going to always be there, and we acknowledge that fact, then it changes our expectations, right? And then we can push through and see on the other side of it that there's something positive to get. I think what we expect out of life really makes a difference. Have you ever gone to a movie? And uh, you walk into that movie and all your friends said it was awesome, just the greatest movie. And so your expectations are through the roof and it ends up being a, a really good movie, but your expectations were so high that they never could have been met. And it's the opposite too, right? When somebody says, oh, this movie's terrible, you go and you watch it and you're like, actually, that was pretty good because your expectations were so low that, that it actually made you think that was a pretty solid movie. That's why I try to approach all of life by keeping expectations low. Always disappoint people is my theory, right? Disappoint them, they won't expect anything from you. You can take that to the bank, that's free from me, okay? But expectations, we need to understand and expect that life is going to be difficult. It's going to have challenges. 
And when we acknowledge that, and we push through, we glory in our sufferings, because we know that on the other side is perseverance. And perseverance is going to form character, and character is going to form hope. We push through it in the same way that when you're lifting weights, or you're working out, or you're going for a jog, and you, you push through, you find on the other side of that, that there's a second wind. That you're stronger than you thought you were, or you got stronger by doing it. When we rejoice in our sufferings, when we acknowledge that life is difficult, on the other side of that, there's hope. There's hope that God has something better in mind for us. And there's hope that we can recapture and reclaim the life that he's created us for. And we won't be derailed. We won't be so thrown with the hardships of this life. So my prayer for you today is that you would know and expect that life has its difficulties, but not a single one of them will overcome you. Because Jesus says, even though life will have its difficulties, he says, but take heart, I've overcome the world. May you know that today. Jesus has overcome the world. You can overcome and push through those difficulties in the very same way with his power. May you go live that out this week. Hey, if this has been helpful to you, I want to encourage you to uh, like it below, comment. Uh, we'd love to correspond with you or share it. Share it with a friend, maybe who's going through a difficult time right now and needs to hear that there's hope on the other side of it. So like, comment, share. Let others be encouraged as prayerfully you have been today. Have a great day. Keep looking up.